All right, you guys, we're back with another video, and I just wanted to make a short video about charging your electric car, whether it be Tesla or any other brand, outside uh, with no shade. And I wanna to talk to you just a little bit about some of the things that you can expect or run into when you are charging your car, your car in direct sunlight at home. So we're right here in the driveway of my house, and I actually have a wall connector right here let me get it in the shot and the thing that I want to mention is right here you will notice a red light flashing at the very top here let me see if I can get that in the shot oh wait hold on there we go okay hopefully you can see that but there is a red light flashing there and it's flashing three times and then there's a pause okay I just want to talk to you a little bit about what that means. So if you don't know and you're, you're new to the electric car world and you're seeing this on your Tesla wall charger, um, this simply means that the wall charger is detecting too much heat, okay? It's hot outside. Uh, it's about 105, it, well it's 105 at the airport so it's probably about a, closer to 109 or 110 degrees here in Tucson. And I currently have my car plugged in, as you can see right there. It's plugged in from this wall charger that I just showed you. And these, these three flashing red lights right here simply mean that there's just, the wall charger's picking up too much heat, either in the face plate or the handle of the charger that's plugged into the car okay so if we go over there let's go take a look at it really quickly oops let me get this thing to focus back on me okay if we go back over here we'll see that the handle's plugged in and uh obviously it's a black handle uh, and it's getting hit directly by the sun there's no shade here and so as a safety measure, what the system does, what the wall charger does, is it kicks down the voltage and the amperage and reduces the, the speed of the charging as a, as a precautionary measure to prevent any accidental fires or something like that. So it's completely safe to actually charge your car out in the sun the way you see here with me, right? can see my car right there no shade direct sunlight and the system is simply kicking down um, the voltage about halfway so it charges at about 48 amps what it does is it kicks it down to 24 and from there uh, there's less less risk of any fire happening so let me go ahead and show you this in the car I'm gonna cut the camera real quick and we'll show you what that looks like in the car all right, you guys, so now I'm in the inside of the car. I'm on the charging screen, and as you can see, it's 24 amps here, okay? So, um, uh, again, the, the wall charger has these sensors in the handle, and in the, the plate itself, inside of the housing itself, it's got these sensors in there, and those sensors are able de to detect how much heat is inside of the, the charging box and the handle so if you if you really scour youtube enough you'll see that people used to put wet towels on the charging handles of their car so this wouldn't happen uh, but tesla kind of figured out that that was happening and it was really risky to do and people were doing it even though the risk was there but tesla they didn't want any liability behind it and so one of the things that they started to do was you know they built an algorithm around it and now you can't really cheat the charging rate in that sense anymore when you're using a level two charger at home. So anyways, I just thought I'd make a really quick video and help you guys understand that if you see three red flashing lights on your um, wall charger, your Tesla wall charger, it's not a bad thing. It's not anything to be overly worried about. It's actually a big safety measure and if you noticed on the wall charger, the light was still um, kind of lighting up from top to bottom green, which is kind of 
the the visual signal for like the fact that the car is actually charging but it's just charging at a lower rate okay so i have a tendency to typically charge overnight when temperatures are a little bit cooler but i went ahead and set this up just so i could make this really quick video for you so anyways i just wanted to make this really quick video for you um we're midsummer over here uh, i know that i want to do a lot of track day videos for you guys but it's just I'm not interested in doing it at midsummer right now. It's just way too hot. Um, so I think my next track day, I'm winding up for sometime in November. Um, but I'm gonna, you know, I want the channel to grow. Um, it'd be cool if in the future we can monetize it. So for those reasons, I'm gonna just start making other types of content. Um, and in the next two videos, I wanna kinda talk to you guys a little bit about why you should use cabin overheat protection in the summer. Um, I know Kyle from Out of Spec Reviews recently put up a video where he said he doesn't use it, but he doesn't live in Arizona. So if you live in some of these desert states. Uh... Okay, so I was in the middle of talking to you when my phone overheated and it stopped recording. And so uh, I think I was just trying to finish up saying that I'm going to make another uh, video on why you should use cabin overheat protection in the desert, which goes a little bit against what Kyle from Out of Spec Review said. Not that he's wrong in any sense of the uh, matter, but uh, uh, I just want to talk about why I think you should do it because um, he puts out a lot of good, good content and he's really knowledgeable, so I'm not really trying to discredit him in any way. Um, so I want to make a video on that. I want to make a video on the latest software update uh, with Grok. And then I just want to uh, start getting putting up a little more um, FSD videos in between racing, okay? So um, I do want the channel to grow a little bit. It'd be cool if we could monetize it, but if we can't, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we're just doing this for shits and giggles. And, um, you know, I actually have another uh, YouTube channel for, for my dog training company. So you could search for Anthony's Canine Services and you'll find us there doing uh, dog stuff. But anyways, yeah, let's wrap this video up and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.